Hey guys, this is Dante with Max Media Creates, and today I am going to be putting together a tutorial video that is going to teach you how to embed a YouTube live stream along with the chat onto your WordPress website. Uh, except our method is going to not require any sort of plugin to be installed as well. Now, I did a bit of research on this topic uh, in terms of how to embed a YouTube live stream onto a WordPress site, and I didn't come across any methods that actually showed you how to do this using strictly code. Uh, every method that I came across just showed you a plugin that you could install that you could drop the live stream link into, and that would take care of all of the, uh, I guess, hard work uh, or coding that would be required in order to make it happen. Uh, but the method I'm gonna show you today, I had not seen anywhere else on the internet. Uh, and most of these plugins don't give you an option for the chat, which is something that if you're embedding a live stream, maybe you want to have the chat on your website as well. So this option is going to give you the ability to do both. Um, so the first step is going to be the most obvious. You need to head to YouTube. Uh, you need to log into your account, whether it be your YouTube account or your Google account, wherever your channel is set up at. Once you're logged in uh, and, at, and at YouTube, you're going to head to the Creator Studio. And once you're in the Creator Studio, you're going to look for the Live Streaming tab here on the left. Now, once you click into that, you're going to be set up in the Live Dashboard here. And you're going to see basically the back end for your actual live stream. You can change the title. You can change the description, the category. You can actually schedule it for a future time. Um, and you can set the privacy here. Now, for the privacy, if it's set to public, anyone can view it. Uh, if it's set to unlisted, they need access to the link for the actual live stream. Uh, and if it's set to private, then it's only for you to see. The encoder setup, this is gonna be information if you're using a third party software, uh, which I personally am. I'm using OBS to do this broadcast and it's typically what I use to do my live streams as well. Uh, but the most important piece of information here is gonna be this share tab here at the bottom right, because we need this link in order to do any sort of embeds. So if we click view on watch page, it's gonna open up an extra page. And this is what a typical YouTube page looks like for the most part, with the addition of the live chat here on the right. But with this, if we try to click share, the embed option is actually disabled. Uh, and it shows in embedding disabled by request. So we can actually embed it and get the code straight away to uh, put this onto our site. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into a different video. This is a video uploaded to our channel uh, for collab. We're gonna click share and we can do the actual embed here. So now it's gonna give us this code here for the iframe embed. We're gonna copy that and we're gonna head back to our WordPress site here, which this is just a blank page here on WordPress. Um, just so I can show you guys what it's gonna look like when you're actually embedding this. So if we embed that, and we hit preview, let that load up. Take a look and we have our video embedded. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to our live stream here and we're actually gonna copy the domain URL for this YouTube live stream, head back over to here and replace that piece of text there. And we'll hit preview again. And now this should update with our live stream video. So at this point, we've already embedded the actual live stream onto our WordPress site. If we were streaming live right now, this is where this would be playing. So it's as simple as that. So we simply took the code from a different video for the embed and replaced uh, the URL from that video with the URL from our live stream video. Now, the next step we're gonna take a look at is how to embed the chat. Now the chat is a little bit different um, and I'm just gonna show you the code specifically here. Uh, it will also be in the description below um, because there's a few things we have to do here to make this work. So I'm gonna paste the code here below so we can take a look at it. So this is the iframe code needed for the chat. So I'm able to get this link here by taking a look at the way that the uh, actual chat is set up and the way the link is set up for it. So we take that 
And the other thing that we need to add is the embed domain. So the embed domain is what you're going to need to place um, where you're going to place your domain name. So when you place that here, that's what's actually going to allow it to be embedded properly. Without the embed domain part on this, it will not work the right way. Um, I'm not exactly sure what it is that you know it's set up to uh, make it not work if this isn't here. But this needs to be here in order for the chat to actually show up. So again, if we hit preview and let this load, you'll see now we have our live stream here and our live chat directly underneath it. And what's cool is if we go to this test one and we just type in test and come back to here, we can see that the chat is working perfectly and uh, is embedded actually on the website. And we can also type from here. So we can go back and check. Yep, that is working correctly. So with these two pieces of code um, embedded directly onto the site, you're actually able to do the same exact functions that some of these plugins offer, uh, plus the additional bonus of being able to add the chat, which some of these plugins don't even offer that as an option. Um, and it, it can be really, really cool to you know, set up one of these streams uh, on your own website. It helps generate a lot of traffic to your website. If you are just trying to get some more views on a particular page, or if you're just trying to draw traffic to the website in general, this would be a great method of doing that. Um, and you're basically, you're also able to generate a lot of traffic to your YouTube channel because you can share a link instead of a YouTube video itself on say Facebook or Twitter or some other social media um, site like that, you can embed uh, this, this YouTube live stream onto your site and advertise your site, which is going to therefore advertise your YouTube channel as well. So I hope you guys found this tutorial um, easy to follow and useful. Um, and I hope that uh, you know if you're interested in embedding a live stream and, and making that happen on your website, that this tutorial you know, helps you achieve that goal. Uh, if you have any questions at all, you can go, you can leave a comment uh, below in this video or on our website, as I believe this video will be attached to a blog post soon. Um, thank you guys for watching, and I appreciate it. Bye.